Hi everybody, it's Michelle and Chloe from Sweet Pea Farm and Why, a channel about what? Um, making one of these. You could do it pink or you could do it red. So our channel is in general about um, raising sheep and all sorts of other livestock and vegetables on our farm in upstate New York and we also do a lot of crafting. Chloe and I particularly like to craft quite a bit, right? And at school, I craft at school too. Yeah, crafting all the time. So um, I'm working on a Valentine's Day wreath for um, decoration for the booth I have at the State Street Market and I wanted to um, share with you guys, I made a bunch of these little felt hearts that I'm gonna put on the wreath and all different pinks and reds. I and thought, I thought you were gonna make that a garland. Yeah, I changed my mind. And then I started making these easy little um, simple felt roses that I wanted to like add clusters on the wreath as well. So today we're gonna show you how to make the little felt roses. The other day we shot a video um, that I will link about felting the hearts and today we're gonna show you how to make the roses. So all you need is some um, inexpensive craft felt. You can get it for like 23 cents a sheet at uh, you can make a Walmart. You can make a with these. Yeah, Awful. you can. Um, you could attach the roses to anything, hair clips, pins, um, I'm going to put mine on a wreath, but you could do it to, you know, whatever, just like the felted roses we did the other day. So all you need is um, a pair of scissors, some craft felt, um, one piece of craft felt will make about four roses, maybe five, and um, let's get started. And you need these, right, one of so um, you're basically going to cut your craft felt into um, some circles. These are some rough cuts because the scissors I started with initially were pretty rough, but it doesn't have to be perfect because this is just going to be the edge of the rose. And you can see I already made one out of that and like the different details kind of makes it look cool. The fact that it is um, three dimensional. We're not playing with scissors, right? Yeah. Um, so you're going to start cutting your circle, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I've never cut it with this kind of cut it? before. Yeah. And you just want to cut it into a spiral, essentially, right? So you cut the whole thing. You want to try to keep the um, the width of your spiral pretty close because that's what you're going to be wrapping around. Um, I put a pipe cleaner on mine because that's what I'm going to use to attach it to the wreath. So that just makes it handy. I think I got the hang of this. You got the hang of it? Maybe. So you're just cutting around, cutting around. Wow, it's like a spiral. Kind of. Right. All right, so you get the idea. You just cut around the circle um, until you have a spiral that will eventually just be a line. So you just, you're going to cut round and round and round and round, keep it the same length, and then make it a spiral. Okay? So now you need to plug in your hot glue gun and get your pipe cleaner, and we'll get started with making this rose. So we're getting our glue gun warmed up, and Chloe has oh, yeah. some pretty big scissors, but... She's getting the hang of what we're doing here and just cutting her spiral out, keeping the width of the line that you're cutting semi-equal in length. Right, Chloe? Mm-hmm. All right, our hot glue gun's warming up, so we're going to get a pipe cleaner and get started. Okay, so you wanna start with um, the middle part, the last part that you cut out. And I like to use the pipe cleaner in the middle. Everything I have here has wool on it because I've been working on orders all day, but. So I'm just gonna, Put a little dab of glue there to get it started. Maybe. I got it. Put that on there. And then you start rolling. And I kind of want to... Oh, hot. That's why they call it hot glue. I kind of want to make a nice little shape. But, Mom... Don't you want to tell them how you wrap it around and it stays? Like, I don't get why. Yeah, you wrap it around kind of tightly, and every once in a while you just add a little dot of hot glue. This is nothing difficult, nothing high speed. I definitely am all about these crafts that are easy peasy, fun. Lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy that Chloe and I can do together. I do help with the hot glue gun sometimes, right? Because we don't want to burn ourselves. Well, I kind of can use it good when it has like a whole hot glue gun. Or hot a glue whole stick. glue stick in there? Yeah. Like it just pops right out. So you just keep wrapping and every once in a while you just put a little dab of hot glue on. 
And see what I mean about those little imperfections on the fact that my shape was not like a perfect circle? It kind of makes it look more dimensional that way, I think, instead of like this one was just perfectly round and that's okay, but this one's kind of cool because it has the little jagged bits that come up and... I kind of like that about roses. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's fun. I'm going to end up cutting down this pipe cleaner quite a bit once I get done. I should have done oh, that. I, I think I'm going to do that now because it's kind of in my way and I just need it to be able to attach to the wreath so I don't really need it in the way. My chair is spinning on oh, you. Try to stay still. Okay. Don't want to make our watchers nauseous. Nauseous? Yeah, if the camera's all jiggly, it's going to make them... Nauseous? How? I don't know what nauseous means. Upset tummy. Okay. You got it in the camera there? Uh-huh. Keep wrapping and wrapping. Almost done. I folded up my pipe cleaner even shorter because that just makes it easier to wrap and keep that out of the way. It just gives me something to hold. Now I'm just gonna kind of start putting little lines of hot glue. You could probably use um, different types of glue, but. Ooh. Did you almost glue it to the counter? No, I just glued it to my finger and it's hot. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Don't do. Don't touch the hot glue, particularly right with your bare finger. Right, Chloe? Well, you can use gloves. That's what I would do when I grow up, but some of the gloves aren't even my size. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, a mitten would be, like, straight up hard. Oh, look at all the hot glue fingerprints I got on my... I would never make a good criminal because they would just find all my hot glue fingerprints all over. And they'd be like, we know who did it. Oof. Not that I would ever want to be a criminal. What is a criminal? Uh, someone that breaks the law. But you're All right. not breaking the law. It was a joke, honey. So that's it. We just keep wrapping. You're almost done. I'm almost done. But don't you have to cut again? No. I'm just going like, to line cut. that up. Don't you have to cut another circle out? And there you have it. There's a little felt rose with all my hot glue fingerprints on it. <laughs> all again. Okay, I didn't know how to pick it up. Just put little bits. Little lines? Yeah, just little bits. It's not really coming out here. Okay. One more? Oh, try not to get it on the top there. I think okay. we might need a... Okay, okay. That's... Another glue stick. Just use little bits and we should get through. Good job. I Hold think on. mine is doing pretty well. I'm only doing the hot glue part so you don't burn yourself. <laughs> Put it on this. Put it on this part for me. Yeah, perfect door. It's really warming my hands up. Hello. Did I just burn you? Not yet. Last little bit. No, no, no. Can you get a little dab on the end here? Not my finger. Are we running out? Okay. All right. We're going to go. There. there we go. Voila. So there you have it, guys. Just a simple little rolled felt flower. Um, I've seen these done with paper. Of course, I do everything in wool and felt. So, yeah. 
So I thought this would be a good addition to my wreath. I'm gonna get a few more colors, maybe some purples, um, and just make little clusters of these on different parts of the wreath for Wait. Valentine's Day. Wait. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, easy tutorial. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything going on on the farm. And have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much, guys.